zero voltage switching is ZV as resonant converter. The switches of zero voltage switching resonant converter turns on and off at a zero voltage. The resonant circuit is shown here. The capacitor C is connected in parallel with the switch S to achieve zero voltage switching. The internal switch capacitance that is Cj added with the capacitance C and it affects the resonant frequency only, thereby contributing no power dissipation in the switch. If this switch is a transistor, And an anti parallel diode D is connected to this. Then the voltage across the C is clamped by the diode D, and the switch is operated in half wave configuration. For this circuit, if the diode D is in series with the transistor Q, then the voltage across the C can oscillate freely and the switch is operated in full wave configuration. A zero voltage switching converter is the dual of zero current switching converter. The equations for N type ZCS a resonant converter can be applied if IL is replaced with VC and vice versa and L by C and C by L and VS by I0 and I0 by Vs. Now let us see how JVS the resonant converter operates. Zero voltage switching a resonant converter circuit is shown here and the circuit operation can be divided into five modes which are redefine the time origin t equals to zero at the beginning of each mode. Then mode one this mode is valid between zero and t1 when both the switch and the diode are off. Then the equivalent circuit will be S and DM are off. Now the capacitor C charges at a constant rate of the load current I0. The capacitor voltage VC which is going to rise is given by the total current I0 divided by C multiplied by the time T. The equation 1. And this mode is going to end at T equals to T1 where the voltage Vc is going to reach up to Vs at t equals to T1. Then the time T1 is given by the voltage Vs C divided by I0. Mode 2 is between 0, T and T2 when S is off and Dm is on. Then the equivalent circuit will be The capacitor voltage Vc is given by Vm sine omega naught t plus Vs, that is V2, where a Vm is equals to I naught square root of L by C at t equals to pi by 2 square root of Lc. The peak switch voltage, that is Vt, of peak is going to occur, and the voltage across the switch is nothing but the voltage across the capacitor is also a voltage that is given by I0 root L by C plus Vs. That will be C. The equation shows that the peak switching voltage is dependent on the load current. Therefore, a wide variation in the load current will result in wide variation of switch voltage. For this reason, the ZVS converters are used only for constant load applications. Then the inductor current IL is given by I0 cos omega naught t, that is P4. And this mode is going to end at t equals to T2, where the voltage across the capacitor will be equals to Vs and the current IL equals to minus I0. Therefore, T2 is given by pi root LC. Now mode 3 lies between 0 and T3 and the equal circuit is in the mode 3 the capacitor voltage that falls from Vs to 0 is given by Vc equals to Vs minus Vm sine 
omega naught t. So this is equation number five. And the inductive current I L is given by minus I naught cos omega naught t. And this mode is going to end at t equals to t three, where voltage across the capacitor will become zero, and the current of the inductor will be at the third stage. Then the time t three is given by square root of L C sine inverse of x, where x is V s by V m, which equals to V s by I naught root C by L. Mode four is in between zero t and t four. Here the switch S one is turned on, and D m is already in on state. Then the equivalent circuit will be. The inductive current which rises linearly from I L three to I naught, and is given by the I L equals to I L three plus V S by L T. Let it be so. And this mode is going to end at T equals to T four at that stage. I L equals to zero. Then T four equals to I naught minus I L three L by V S. And from the figure, we know that the I L three is the negative value. Mode five is going to lie between zero and T five, where S one is on, D M is made off. The equivalent circuit will be, and the low current I naught flows through the switch. This mode ends at T equals to T five. Where the switch is turned off again, and the cycle is repeated. That is, T five equals to T minus T one plus T two plus T three plus T four. The switch must be turned on only at zero voltage. Otherwise, the energy stored in the capacitor C will be dissipated in the switch. To avoid this situation, the anti-parallel diode D one must conduct before turning on the switch. Now let us see the waveforms. The voltage of the capacitor in mode one is going to reach from zero to V S. In mode two, it reaches the maximum value of V S plus V M, and then turn back to V S in mode two. In mode three, the V C will become zero and stays at the zero in mode four and mode five until the next cycle starts. Then it's going to repeat. The inductor current I L. In the mode one will be at I naught. In mode two will become negative I naught. In mode three it starts rising. In mode four it will reach the maximum value of I naught again. And in mode five it stays at I naught. In the next cycle also in the mode one it stays at I naught. Again it is just a negative. It starts increasing again. This is zero voltage switching, a resonant converter circuit with the waveforms and the modes of operation. If this video is useful, please like, share, and subscribe.